In this video, we'll be installing a new ESP32 project, the NetGochi firmware. If you've been watching the channel, you may have noticed different projects with offensive capabilities. However, the NetGochi is on the defensive side, offering an intrusion detection features and even the ability to act as an honeypot. I really like this project because you don't need a much like a micro USB cable to power your ESP, a little screen and the cable. So a product for less than 10 euro or dollars, you get everything you need. So first thing first, we are going to the GitHub page and download the latest source. Once this is done, we will move to Arduino IDE to flash the board. But before this, we need to install all the dependencies. Before being able to flash NetGochi firmware, we will need to make sure we have the correct libraries installed in our Arduino IDE. Before you jump right into Arduino IDE, please open the zip file. You will need to go to libraries and here you will see several folders. So each of them contains libraries for specific either board or component. So here you could see for the Adafruit LCD and here for the FTP server, either if you have a ESP32 or ESP8266 and for both ESP ping and Wi-Fi manager. You need to copy all these folders depending your operating system, Windows, Mac OS or Linux here. So me, I will copy that offline. I don't see any point to show that in a video. And then in Arduino, you need to go into the pile of books here so maybe we don't see that well and from that part here on the library manager you will need to copy and paste each name present in the library section on the netgoch's github page so for instance out of with gfx Unless you already have this library installed for other project, you will need to type it here in the library manager and install it. So I will take this offline review that I have all the different libraries needed. So nobody will see me struggling here. And then we'll go on the next step. I have opened the netgochi.ino file and all the other they are all present under the same folder so now i will click on upload so it will compile the sketch and then upload to my esp8266 so now it's building and compiling everything i need to install the adafruit gfx the button to the ntp client and if you are using, let's say, the SH110X, you need to use the library manager and download everything. So now we could see it's still uploading. So now the upload is completed. I'm going to wire the screen to the board and we are going to see what we have here. The board is now flashed and connected to the screen. And as you can see here on the screen, we are invited to use AutoConnect AP SSID to configure the NetGochi. Here we are connected to the Wi-Fi manager dashboard from the NetGochi. So we could see we have several buttons. First one, let's check info what we have here. So we have all the detail about the chip. I'm going to hit this button and set up my actual test Wi-Fi for this. So now we'll put my password. See here, I have recorded the screen 
of the net Gucci and you could see some animation. I found it pretty nice. And now we're going to see what we could have generated by scanning some ports or generating some traffic. Right now I'm using another laptop with Kali. And what he's doing here, he's doing a bridge, uh, an access point with my wired network and the SSID is some XP. So from here, I'm going to use a NetGochi to connect and then we're going to see what we could do. So right now, the NetGochi is waiting for the credential. I'm going to use the portal we see before and enter the credential. Now we have received an attempt to connect to the Wi-Fi network. So you could see connection successful and now the NetGochi is running all the test. It's trying to reach some servers online and you could see the ping and now here SSID, some XP and here we have the correct time on top left corner and he's happy. There is one host that was scanned and one vulnerable was found. Actually, it is SSH, which was turned on during the scan. I have also started a FTP server, however, it was not found. So I'm not really sure how often the scan happened. I'm not sure if I did anything wrong, so that was a screenshot from the interface I had from the NetGochi. So you could see the actual displayed ahead and the status. I didn't know what the controller was supposed to do because it seems it didn't work in my situation. And same thing with the get host data information seems it didn't work either. And like I said, I had the NetGochi booting up while I only had SSH server. It was detected. Then I started an FTP server. It was not detected. I ran several times Nmap towards the NetGochi IP address, but they were not reported. And I'm not quite sure here how I should have like trigger either a NetGochi alert or find any information about a potential honeypot. Also, I'm not sure what I should see on my network as kind of honeypots because I was monitoring for ARP requests looking for potential news IPs or services on my network and maybe I overlooked but um, hopefully this will make all constructive uh, feedback because I found this project really promising to have kind of a um, honeypot or network scanner in such a small form factor with a touch of uh, kawaii with all the eyes moving. It's really remind me the Ponagochi, but in that situation, it's much easy to use and to install, by the way. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for new experiments.